guys welcome back with another video in this video I'm going to review three applications in one module you guys will get three apps in one module just one module and uh, all these applications are really really very necessary for custom ROM users and one will be MUI camera which is uh, called ANX camera and another will be scanner which is MUI scanner and another will be MUI gallery application just install one module and you guys will get three application which is really great and uh, the management was really great that's why the smoothness is perfect and the modification is really really awesome so let's get it started first of all remember your device must be rooted with magisk manager so here you guys can see i have already installed magisk and remember one thing you must use latest magisk manager which will be 24.2 and upper version but don't use lower than 24.2 here i have already installed 24.2 so that's why it's working fine without any issue and remember one thing first of all you need mui core if you don't install mui core files then your magix module will not work so here is the magix mui core and here is the mui camera i already installed in my device so i don't want to show you guys the installation process you guys can install by yourself first of all remember install mui code and you guys will get both the links in description just check uh, first install mui core then reboot your device and then install mui camera and you guys will get three application after installing just do reboot after reboot you guys will get three application one will be mui gallery which is that so you guys can see the, which is mui gallery application and uh, which is a bit earlier build and then you guys will get anx camera and which is working on redmi 7 but this is not for only redmi 7 you guys can install this on any android 11 and android 12 devices android 12 under 12.1 whatever you have you guys can use this camera and gallery application and then you guys will get the MUI scanner which is uh, here the MUI scanner and everything is fixed in previous build we had some problems uh, in documents and translate but now everything is fixed here if you want to translate anything you guys can do and if you need a QR code scanner then you guys can do that and if you need uh, document scanner you guys can do that as well so which is really great and working every single thing so three best application you guys will get in one module just install the module and enjoy it and now let me show you some samples I already taken and here is that and remember one thing uh, here is the portrait shot in front camera which is working in without any problem and then I have captured some photos here is another photo which is really great with SDR enabled and I will talk about uh, Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 as well which will work and which not so don't skip the video watch till the end and another photo is there and which is great what exactly I was watching in my eyes the realistic color let me show you from this gallery application and I already uh, taken uh, some videos with 1080p 30fps and 1080p 60fps and first of all let me show you uh, 1080p 30fps videos and uh, here is that this one taken with 1080p 30fps let me play the video again this one also taken with 1080p 30fps now let me show you this one 1080p 60fps This one also 1080p 60fps.
and here is a portrait shot which is also great this is a short video that means short video working and this one is time lapse actually i didn't get anything to check but i check it like this so this is time lapse working no problem with that so these are the samples i had to show so that's it and scanner gallery everything is just working fine now let me show the user interface of the camera nx camera or MIUI camera whatever you say this is the user interface for redmi 7 actually this uh, the feature of the camera MIUI camera uh, will be increased and decreased according to your device model so it, it will uh, justify internally and then it will provide the feature so for redmi 7 we only have here the promote uh, where uh, white balance iso and ev available and video section of course we have 720p 730p 60fps and 7 uh, 1080p 30fps both working i already showed you guys the video and we, which is working fine no problem and remember one thing when you use the photo mode don't enable ai if you enable ai and if you capture photos then it will uh, make problem now it's working but first time when you install first time don't use and keep using your device and it will be okay gradually then your problem will be solved uh, first time it can crash when you enable uh, AI camera then when you going to capture photos it can crash but uh, and if you enable SDR both together and camera could crash but now it's not crashing because it's now uh, getting used to uh, with this device and this ROM uh, I'm using here Android 12 and remember one thing you must uh, this is for this camera for Android 12 and Android 11 of course it will work on both Android 11 and 12 so don't worry about that you guys can easily use and I think uh, most of the users are waiting for Android 12 uh, working on working camera for android 12 so this is here and portrait mode of course working i already showed you a photo but here panorama is not working uh and now when you capture panorama is not working without panorama everything is working so this is it i think there will be no issues I hope you guys understand the video and front camera front portrait everything is just working pretty much fine without any issue you guys can use no problem with that and of course front video everything is working without any issue so this is gonna be the perfect shot for you guys and I recommend you guys to install this and try yourself no problem with that so here is the video and of course um, you guys will like it I think so if you like then of course do subscribe uh, the channel and don't forget to hit the like button so thank you for watching